What's a small act of rebellion you've committed that felt incredibly satisfying? One time I was at a Hardee's drive through and this asshole behind me decided it would be funny to honk as soon as I was handing them money, and again when I was being handed my bag with the intention of trying to startle me and possibly make me drop either. I didn't, but my defiance was after she handed me the bag I just sat there in the drive through Eventually he starts honking again and yelling for me to move and yelling obscenities. At which point I flipped him off so he knew I was doing it intentionally. I sat there until the manager finally told me I had to move. Felt so good. I lied to an imam. He strode in with his nervous teenage son and a laptop that showed a porn site every time you turned it on. He demanded to know how it got infected. I looked him straight in the eye and said you get that kind of infection from email. I sent formal rejection letters to jobs I never applied to explaining why I don't want the job being offered. The reason given is almost always low pay and on-site requirements. Sometimes I get a counteroffer and have to remind them I didn't apply. Had a manager get exasperated and tell me from now on do exactly what I tell you. She learned very quickly she was a very poor communicator who lacked the ability to adequately articulate what she wanted. Always made certain I had two or three people around when she told me what she needed. Would chat the request to my teammates who confirmed that's what they'd heard. She was fired three months later. She tried getting me written up and fired. But HR kept calling in my witnesses, and the write up kept getting declined. My ex roommate is an alcoholic and has a serious problem with drinking and driving. Living with her was an absolute nightmare. I couldn't go to sleep until she passed out because she's left a range oven burners on multiple times. That's just the icing on the cake. But one night a really bad snowstorm was rolling in. It was bad. So I drove over to the bar she was at and slashed her tires. She was so drunk that she didn't notice her tires were flat until one of our friends noticed her trying to drive through a snowstorm with flats. She never made it out of the parking lot. I have no regrets. Especially since I just recently learned that she was in a car accident, her fault and she was drunk. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Flashed my lights to oncoming traffic after passing a speed distance camera. I know it is kind of becoming a get off while on thing. But I love it when I see a few one tap brights back at me, then see brake lights in my rear view. Worked on a large corporate campus that provided snacks, soda, and coffee. They also provided cups, silverware, etc. Morning routine was simple, cup of coffee, maybe a banana. Sit down at my desk, and find I have a meeting with our department VP in one of the large conference rooms. Immediately my alarms go off. My coworkers didn't know what meeting I was talking about. Sure enough, I was told in a room of about 30 people that we were being laid off. Totally took the coffee cup I was using that morning, even topped it off on my way out. Still use it. It's just a plain white mug, but it was satisfying for some random reason. I tossed the trash bag under my arm after swirling it five times instead of throwing it in the dumpster like the NBA talent scouters are watching. Forging my mother's signature to leave school early. 19 year old who isn't allowed to go outside. I snuck out and took a midnight walk yesterday made me feel so cool. Released all of my mom's tennis shoes tighter so she had to fix them anytime she wanted to wear them. Never let her know it was me. Blocking my mom and not talking to family. Refused to stop for the Walmart employee checking receipts at the exit. Years ago I worked at a family owned supermarket that had a mini takeaway corner serving hot food. By the end of the night there were some food left. And if not sold we usually save and refried them for the following day the boss's dad is quite stingy. A regular customer came 45 mins before closing and ordered one ex broccoli cheese bowl from the Bain Marie. It costs 4 per one. The customer asked if I can do it cheaper since it's near closing. Just when the boss's dad wasn't looking I told the customer I can do 2 for 6 and quickly charged the customer. Quite satisfying as there were no leftovers for the following day and the boss's dad never found out. Lived with my brother and three other slubs in a two-bedroom apartment in CA back in the day. When I moved in, it was a pigsty I'm talking maggots in the bottom of a pot in the kitchen kind of pigsty I'm a very clean and organized person and I proceeded to clean the entire place top to bottom. They all did their best to try and keep it clean within reason except for Tom. He'd leave a plate full of ketchup in the living room, cereal bowls, cups, garbage, etc. I kept asking him to clean up after himself and he'd just whine like a spoiled kid. So, I finally stopped picking up after him, and let it build up over a couple weeks. One day when he was at work I collected all his filth, and dumped it in his bed, and pulled his blankets over it. Exploded when he found it, but everyone was on my side. Told him I'd keep dumping his shit in his bed if he left it for me to clean. He stopped being a pig until he moved out. All at work, smoke weed, steal coffee, clock one minute later every day and I only poop there. Been doing this for four years. 
My best friend back in school once skipped out on English class and when the teacher asked, I just went ahead and said it. He was a shite friend. I needed to buy Sudaft, one package like a normal person, not a pallet like a meth cooker. It was behind the counter, and I had to provide my ID, and they took my information down in a book, and I had to sign it, which let me see the names, addresses and driver's license numbers of everyone before me. Which means everyone after me will see my personal information. For my signature, I wrote in cursive, I, protest, 